it's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. My guests are here from all over. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what's coming. We're going to see what you've got. And right off the top, I want to remind you, the newsletter, sign up for it at drlorev.com. It is free. Just sign up for it. Send, give us your email. We will send it out. As a matter of fact, one goes out tomorrow. So get to it soon. Make sure that you don't miss it. All chock full of all kinds of information and tips for you. My guests are here. We're going to see what they've got. Uh, another exciting night. Ask Dr. Lori live. Let's see what we've got. got a lot of reflection on some of these. So you got to be able to the reflection. Also, backgrounds. We can't have all busy backgrounds. Plain backgrounds are best. Plain backgrounds are best. So we've got a piece that looks like a nice statement necklace and a very big piece that looks like Capa de Monte and some cats, which look like a nice uh, piece there, as well as a platter. Then there's another piece here that looks like I can only see part of it. It's not in front of the camera. Well, let's go with the statement necklace. Big, large, kind of like mine. Mine's kind of a statement yeah, necklace tonight. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Hi, I'm Lucy from New Mexico. How are you? Hi, Lucy. Nice to see you. Good to see you, too. How did you acquire this? Can you speak up for me, Lucy? Sure. This, Thanks. Uh, I got this at a thrift shop. Um, it was marked fifteen dollars, but it was half price day. So, oh, so, so seven fifty, right? That's good. Yep, pretty good. Is it, mar is it marked? It's got a mark um, on the little tag of the little metal thing on the clasp. It looks kind of like this. Oh, okay, okay. You drew it for us. Okay, <laughs> all right. You can't. It's hard to see, but it looks. It kind of looks like a T, but it's not touching the the component. Okay, so it looks are. more like a script T, if you will. Yeah. Okay. Then, the mark is less. The mark is important, sure, but what is also important, and I would say it's sort of less important. The marks are important, but what's also important is the quality of the materials as well as the design. So here's mm -hmm. what I like about the design. First, right off the bat, five. I like odd numbers. So the fact that there are five elements is a good thing when it comes to design. Odd numbers tend to be very attractive, sort of like the Blessed Trinity, three, right? The idea that you've got three, any odd number actually will be attractive to the eye. There's balance to odd numbers, okay? Mm -hmm. There's balance to even numbers, but when it comes to a statement necklace like this, where they're not going to give you a piece on each one, like mine's a station necklace, right? So yours is a statement necklace, they're different. So station is sort of like a depot, right? You know, mm -hmm. kind of thing like stops at the station. Yours is statement, which basically means it's big, it's bold, it's dramatic. That piece dates to about the 1960s into the 1970s. It is not an earlier piece. This piece has a very typical design that we see in French pieces and pieces generally from Europe. And that design has to do with three different elements, right? I was talking about the law of thirds and odd numbers and that kind of thing in design three elements and then the background element is now the flower itself you can see that on the main piece the biggest piece which hits around here and then the two larger pieces and even on the smaller ones but the two larger pieces and that main central piece that pendant piece at the bottom is really where we start to see that idea of balance with respect to odd numbers so that's cool mm -hmm. late 1960s early 1970s what did you pay for it oh the 750 the half price what do you think it's worth I have no idea. But okay, well, if you had to take a guess, you know it's not worth $7.50. You know you got a bargain as it is. <laughs> but, you know, if, if somebody were to, I wonder what other people would think it, it was worth. What do you think it's worth? Hi. Hi. Um, $75. You think $75, a statement necklace like that from the late 60s? And if it were $75, where, would, where do you think it's best for you to get that $75? Where would you market it? Hmm. Maybe um, Etsy? Maybe Etsy or Poshmark, and I think oh, yeah. you can get $125. But thanks for your input. See, she's on the right track at 75, but I want it a little bit higher, and here's why. Station, a, a statement necklace, large, oversized, good materials, and diversity of materials. A lot of different things going on in those flowers. So for your $7.50, you did very well. But my our friend, I forgot to get her name, our friend there, she was smart in thinking. What's your name, honey? 
Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. I'm sorry. I forgot to get your name when I asked you. But Jeannie was on the right track because she was thinking about the 10% rule, that you probably <laughs> paid about 10% of what it's worth. You paid a little bit, of course, less than that. So you did very well. Nice necklace for $7.50. It would have made real bargains, probably. Hey, hey before you go, I got a question for you okay. about appetizers. So you're at the steakhouse or you're out to dinner and your choices for an appetizer are crab cake or shrimp cocktail. What do you choose? I would take the shrimp cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. We like a shrimp cocktail. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks for being with me. That's a nice piece. And what to look for? Again, it's those uh, it's those elements like design features. I want you to understand what good design looks like because when you do that, you'll be able to choose it over something else. Good design sometimes is simple, sort of like the necklace that I'm wearing, pretty simple. But good design also relates to that idea where you're dealing with, again, uh, the ideas of different elements together, different diverse materials, or of course, e odd numbers. So that was a nice one. That was a lot of fun for $7.50. That was great. That was great. The bargains are out there. The bargains are out there. I'm going to show you what to look for. My guests are here. Oh, let's see. Oh, you're surprised. Did I surprise you? Here you are. She's surprised. She's shocked over there. She's like, I'm really on. I've been sitting here and I'm really here. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So we've got a, we've got what looks like a large pressed glass piece. We've got a piece that could be, gosh, it could be, uh, it's faceted, it's faceted gemstones, uh, but it's so close to the camera that I can't get a good look at it. And it's pretty blurry there because I think behind is the window. You can't sit in front of a window, people, because all I'm getting is glare from the window. Then I've got this piece, which looks like it is, actually gold or don't sit right in front of your light don't turn off your light don't sit in front of your light so you guys turn off lights and then you think oh that's better i know i'm driving you crazy i'm sorry <laughs> um, this plate this platter is kind of hi what's your name hi i'm Catherine from ohio okay Catherine. i like this pl i like this plate it's pretty neat how'd you acquire it uh, i got it at an antique store for 15 is it marked on the back uh, oh, it's, it's a cake marked. plate. On the bottom. <laughs> oh, Catherine, I like it a lot more now. <laughs> so it says Limoges, France. So all of you should sing ding, 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 Limoges, France. Hey, my friend Joseph is here. Joseph, ah. is the, Joseph is the guy who said to me on a video call, I didn't really like you at first, Dr. Lori, but now I realize you know all this about antiques, so now I'm going to watch you every day. <laughs> I'm giving you up, Joseph. I'm showing it. I'm giving you up. <laughs> a nicer, a nicer guy you couldn't meet. So Joseph no. is my friend. But you know what? I'm an acquired taste. You know how that is when you're an acquired taste? You got to get used to me, you know? But it's nice to see you. Back to my friend, was it Catherine from Ohio? Yep. Catherine, honey, this is a nice cake plate. How much did you pay for this? Uh, Fifteen. Oh, 15 was pretty good for a Limoges cake plate, uh, early to mid 20th century. I like it a lot. Here's what I like about it. Can you show it to us it's from the side? There you go, babe. So I like that nice fluted curve right at the base. I like the decoration on the base. I like the fact that you can put a deeper cake or even a pie on it. It doesn't necessarily have to only be a cake plate. That's what that little element you know, it kind of goes up a little bit, right? It has a ridge almost. I like that too. I also, Joseph, shush, I'm talking. <laughs> Thank you. Gosh, he's a, these guys, deep, 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 deep. I mean, he knows I'm, he knows I'm kidding. <laughs> that particular plate I like because of the gold also. Can you show us the base of the, the bottom? There you go. The other way, the other way, other way, other way, other way. Yeah. Okay. That's good too. I like the gold. I like the decoration. It's not overly gold for, for the, for the most part. The other thing that I like about it, if you show everybody the bottom, it is marked in two places, what to look for. It's marked the same mark, the Limoges France at the bottom and the Limoges France on the underside of the plate. That means that what the manufacturers are doing is they are actually creating the pedestals as well as the actual plates together. And then you want to see that. You want to see that same mark if you're looking at the lid and the base of a teapot or a coffee pot. The match of those two pieces is very important. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So much so, now granted, I'm not a great cook, but I'll make a cake or a pie every once in a while. I'm not great at that. I'm better at breads. Do you cook at all, Catherine? Uh, a little bit. I'm better at 
cooking than baking. <laughs> You're better at cooking than baking. I think baking is harder than cooking. I want to know in the comments, do you guys think cooking is harder than baking? I think baking might be harder. I don't know. One of them, they're hard. I'm, I'm lousy at all of it. I like to go out to eat. Anyway, <laughs> having said that, having said that, I think that's a beautiful plate and value on it, about $90. Oh, wow. Thank oh, you wow is right. Based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold, it's in very nice condition. And the gold as well as, of course, the porcelain is really what you're looking for. I like that very well. That's a pretty piece. So will you keep it or will you flip it? Um, I'm probably going to flip it. Okay. If you're going to flip it, then I want to know this before you go. Um, when you flip it, I want to make sure that you give a little bit of leeway so you can negotiate. So maybe you price it a little bit higher than its retail value. Right. So you get, of course, closer to that. So give yourself a little bit of elbow room. That reselling tip is always important. And before you go, my question of the day, shrimp cocktail or crab cake, if you're having an appetizer. I actually don't like seafood at all. So neither. <laughs> a lot of people don't like seafood. A lot of people. What's your favorite appetizer? Like if you have your choice of appetizers, they'll give you anything you do like. Ooh, probably like a spinach dip type thing. And some oh, pasta. nice. Yeah, I like that too. That's good. With oh, I like the artichoke ones too. Ooh, Those are good. Oh, yeah. we can talk about food all day. Nice to see you. Good <laughs> job on the cake plate. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> very good job. Very good job. Yeah, she found a winner. So look for those double marks, right? Also look for the gilding and look for a nice piece of ceramic, right? No chips, no cracks, no inclusions, no abrasions. You know, inclusions are like dug out kinds of pieces. So, oh, it's Matthew, my king. I was wondering where you've been. How have you been, Matthew? I hope everything's well. And thank you very much for supporting the channel with your super chats and super stickers. Any way you support the channel makes me happy. Watching, sharing, put a comment in. Tell me what you think. Where are you calling from? Where are you watching from? All of that. I bake bread in my crock pot. Oh, you do? Willa, I'm so impressed. I only thought crock pots are just for stew. No, crock pots are for more than that. Oh, you're going to have to teach me some stuff. You guys could teach me a lot. And I want to thank all of you who are teaching me about fashion because I need the help with the scarf and the hair and the whole deal. So thank you for that. I like those comments too. Even if you think it's ugly, I don't mind. That's fine. You could say, Dr. Lori, it looks ugly. That's good. That's all right. Anything that helps. So I appreciate that too, you, my friends. Uh, my guests are here from all over. Don't forget to go into the comments and tell me where you're calling from. Right. And That's a big help. piece oh, of for the Monte. Oh, and a, and a uh, crazy <laughs> quilt. And a crazy quilt. And, uh, and a, a, not, a relatively nice piece of glass. I got to go with the Capo di Monte. I got to go with the big Italian piece. It's so big. Ceramic applied ornament. Hi, what's your name? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Barb. Hi, Barb. And thanks so much for the plain background. That's a big help. I appreciate that. So where are you calling from tonight, hon? Uh, from Michigan. All right. Where in Michigan? Um, where are you in Michigan? By Lake Erie. We're about a half hour from Ann Arbor. And you're <laughs> over here someplace. Yeah. yeah this is the Mitt. Have you all seen the Mitt? <laughs> You've seen this, right? Michigan. Um, I went to school in Ann Arbor, so not too far. Not, not too far. far. No. I know it's cold and I know it's windy. Yes. Okay. Both. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. I used to stand there and the wind would just take you. Anyway, I've said that before. This particular piece on the underside, does it have a crown mark with an N? It has a crown with an N. It's in blue. Right. And the thing that's different is that, I don't know, I got this at Goodwill. The thing that's different is it's huge. Well, it, yeah, it's, it's huge. huge. <laughs> And it's like the back side, if you turn it this way. So I don't know if it's, I was looking, to, or do they come in pairs? Because, you know, like I was putting on my fireplace on each side because my fireplace is this color. Oh. So I was wondering if there's another piece to it. I was going back thinking maybe they'll bring out another one. Well, let's talk a little bit about this, first of all. Okay. Yes, I have seen it as pairs. I've actually also seen it with candlesticks. And I've seen it also with a big fruit bowl in the middle, too. Okay. They're okay. pretty big. You know, yeah, I had a big me. Italian family. I, my mother had a lot of, I have a lot of aunts and uncles. My mother was from a big family. My father was from a big family. There's a lot of them. And let me just say this in the 1960s, 1970s, when these types of pieces were coming out from Capa de Monte, the N mark with the crown is for, of course, the Duchy of Naples, very, very famous Naples, Italy, of course, where they were made. So that N mark with the crown is what you want to look for. But the other, so show us the N mark with the crown so everybody can see it, if you would be so kind. Uh, turn it so it is not upside down. Is that? Uh, there you go. You got it. See, it says Capo de Monte underneath the N. The N stands for Naples, and then the crown is above it. 
And if you know the history of Italy, of course, you know that there were different duchies or different areas that were controlled by different ways. Naples was one of those. So this particular piece, there were a lot of them and they were quite big, but they got bigger, right? In the 19th century and early 20th century, they were small diminutive figurines mainly. As they got into the post-war period, post-World War II period, they became quite large. Yes, you could find that there is a pair, but not everybody could afford or bought the pairs. Okay. So it might just be that there is only one that you're going to find in your thrift store. Next time you're a thrift store, ask somebody. Okay. I would take a picture of it on your phone. And then when you go back to the thrift, thrift store, just basically go, I had one of these. Do you have another one? Could somebody look? 99 times out of 100, you know, you get somebody on the right day and they'll go back and look. They don't mind. Applied ornament. What is that? The sculptural element of, of course, the ceramic, which is hand painted and then applied on top of the base. The base, of course, is the whole big decorated or scroll work picture. That's what you're looking at there. It's a nice piece. It looks like it's in good shape. No chips or cracks on no, it? No chips or cracks. What did you pay? Uh, $6.40. $6.40. It's worth 80 Oh, great. <laughs> Pretty good. It's massive, though. It's it, it's an acquired taste. It's kind of like me. Joseph will tell you. It's kind of like me, an acquired taste. <laughs> Very good. Based on actual sales records always, right? And know what to look for. The later Capo di Monte pieces, the Capo di Monte pieces of the mid to late 20th century are not as diminutive, small scale. They're not as detailed as pieces like yours, okay? Okay. So the ones that are earlier are more diminutive. They're smaller. They have very, very specific details. They're usually figurines. The one you have is very characteristic of the mid to late 1900s. So get the dates right when you start to look at it. That N with the crown mark is going to be on all of them. Before okay. I let you go in Michigan, shrimp cocktail or crab cake if you're having an appetizer? Uh, shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. Do you yep. like tartar sauce with the shrimp cocktail or do you like the red sauce like with the horseradish? Yes, the red sauce. Yeah, I like the cocktail sauce, sauce too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. Take good care. Nice to see you. Have a great day. I got Stay your warm. loop. Got the well, loop and got the, the, loop. the diamond. Yes. And you need the loop. Yep, I just got it Monday. <laughs> okay. Is it helping? It's helping, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking speaking of the loop, Barb, a quick story. I'm going to talk to you about folks who are in a warm place because you're in a cold place. Um, 17 year old girls, I got a, I got a comment today, 17 year old girls in Southern California who bought the loop, who are following the channel, shout out to them and their mom who told me about them. Oh, our bought the loop, following my tips, going thrifting, making money for themselves, flipping. I'm very proud of them. So that's fun. I'm glad you're getting the loop. Anytime you want to buy a, a recommended item, of course, the specials and shop page at drlaurieV.com, you can do that. I do get compensation when you uh, do that, uh, when you buy something of my recommended products from the website. So uh, I hope it's helpful. I'm glad it's helpful. All of you are, are confirming my belief that that's a money magnet. You get that loop, you're going to see things like you've never seen them before. So I'm glad you're doing that. Uh, my guests are here and I'm happy to see them. So thank you for that. And thanks to Barb. I didn't get a chance to thank her from Michigan. And that looks like a table screen. And my goodness, you still don't have good lighting over there. Uh, maybe it's the connection over there, I'm not sure. All right, and then we've got, well, someone's wearing a tiara and she also has a bracelet. I was sent a tiara, it was very beautiful. I wore it a couple of times. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. And that looks like a figurine, but I can't see the bottom of it. It's not, it's right up against the camera. So I can't see the bottom of it. I do like the figurine and you know what I like? I like the little animal at the base of the figurine. That's what makes that figurine for me. Hi. Well, I like that figurine Hi. a lot. Let's, yes. take, let's take a look at the, um, let's take a look at the glass piece. Can we do that? I like the figurine, but I'm going to take a look at the glass piece. Hi, what's your name? I'm Janet from Kansas. Hi Janet. Where are you on? Kansas. Oh, you're in Kansas. I like this piece. This piece, can you show it to us from the bottom so we can see inside of it? There you go. So notice the scroll work. Notice the beautiful workmanship of this whole piece. Can you back up for me a little bit, Janice? Thank you. The And what to look for. You're looking at American Brilliant Cut Crystal, right? So you're looking at, of course, um, significant, I always call them spirograph 
patterns. So significant and many of those spiral graph patterns is what you're looking for. In addition to that, where the prices go way, way up is when you actually start to see scroll work, right? A lot of curves around the edge of this particular piece. How did you acquire it? I got it at Goodwill for $4. Goodwill for $4 is really good. Hey, are you a baker? Because somebody just put a comment up that they burn everything. I have started many a fire. I mean a fire, like call the fire department kind of fire when I'm baking. So I'm careful. Do you bake, Janice? I bake everything. Yes. Oh, you bake everything. So you don't start fires, do you? I already did that part. <laughs> You're past that part, right? You're past that part. That's funny. All right. So this piece, how big is this piece? Um, about 12 inches wide. Oh, so like eight. a ruler, like a ruler. Yes. And I always tell you guys, you know, use your arm, measure your arm from the tip of this finger all the way to your elbow kind of thing. Get an idea because your arm's always with you if you forget to bring the measuring tape. But, you know, try to do that. So it's about 12 inches or think about, okay, that's a ruler. You know, try to think about what your ruler and your desk looks like. If we even use rulers anymore, I do, but you know, other people may not. That particular piece is quite nice. Now, here's the kicker. Turn that piece over like that. Is there a well in the bottom of that piece? Yes. Now you're not letting, you turn it all the way over. So basically that stop. Is there a well that something can sit in the top there? Yes. Yes. You know what that is? That's the pedestal base of a punch bowl. Okay. You see it? Yes. Now you see it. <laughs> You're like, oh, Dr. Lori, I don't want the pedestal base of a punch bowl. I thought I was getting a bowl. You could use it as a bowl, but the idea is that it's a pedestal base, which is why you have the decoration in the center, because when, the, when you look down into the punch bowl, you're going to see the decoration up from the center too. So you've got a piece of a piece. Take a picture of that. When you go back to the thrift store, ask them, do you have the punch bowl? Because you need to make the set if you could. That's basically what you're looking at. But a nice piece, you can use it as a bowl. Value on it, about 50 bucks. Thank you. Look for the punch bowl, sweetheart. Based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold. And in places like Kansas, you see a lot of these beautiful pieces. And punch bowls are, are coming into widespread use. A lot of people are using punch, making punch, making sangria, that kind of thing. Hey, before you go, darling, uh, shrimp cocktail or crab cake for an appetizer? Shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. We're all going for the shrimp. <laughs> Our friends in Louisiana are going to be happy with that. The shrimp, the shrimpers are going to be happy with that. Nice to see you. Thanks for being with me. Thank you. I need you to look at all elements. So this is why I oftentimes tell you, close your eyes and feel the object, especially with glass pieces. So that one, she's looking at it one way saying, well, it's a nice big bowl. And it is, but that's not what its intended use was. Oftentimes when you see that scroll work around a bowl, that oftentimes will tell you that actually the scroll work hits the table, right? And then the rest of it is the pedestal base for the punch bowl, punch bowls in two pieces. So but good to know we got a little instruction there. Sometimes when that happens, it works out for all of us. So nice piece. Don't forget the binge link. What does the binge link do? What is the binge link, Dr. Lori? The binge link is going to help you organize what you watch so you can watch all of my videos and you don't have to go waiting for them to be served up or go searching here and there and everywhere. Very easy to do. Where do you find the binge link? It's the YouTube binge link. So it's for all of the Dr. Lori V videos. So that binge link, you can find it at drlorev.com, which is my website on the specials and shop page. We've created a link for you. So all you have to do is save that link and click on it anytime you want to watch a Dr. Lori video. What's better about it, I think, it organizes the videos. The most current ones are shown first. So people are saying, oh, I didn't see that video. Oh, I missed that video. I didn't know. You won't miss a video if you use the binge link, right? Because people are saying, I didn't know that you talked about carnival glass or costume jewelry or how to tell the difference between a valuable piece of silver and a not valuable piece of silver all whatever it might be but nearly a thousand videos so get there and use that binge link it'll help you you'll be happy you did my daughter has pokemon card collection that she wants to get rid of okay i can appraise it which session should she set up for you for an appraisal a half hour video call sending a pic thank you very much she can do whatever she likes it's up to her um, whatever she thinks is more is more helpful to her and is within her budget. Uh, I would say that if you have a large collection, you might need a little bit of time. So you might need a 30 minute video call, right? You can always send a photo to get an idea. 
Uh, I, of course, will review photos through our website. Uh, it's up to you, but any of them will work. And yes, I can evaluate from photographs. Um, Pokemon, there's a lot of valuable Pokemon pieces, and there's a lot of misinformation about Pokemon out there too. A lot of folks are giving misinformation about Beanie Babies and Pokemon, and some of the more popular American Girl dolls, so I want to get you the right information. And again, if you compare me to other appraisers, you're going to see why I'm going to give you the right information too. So good question. You know, kids are keen collectors. They collect things that oftentimes do have good value. So Pokemon is one of those things. A part of Italy is your family from, Dr. Lori. Well, my family is from Amalfi, the Amalfi Coast. You probably know it. My mother's family is not from there. My father's family is from the Amalfi Coast. My mother's family is from very, very far north in Italy. So, um, yes, I am completely Italian, both sides, and uh, a lot of fun, a lot of a lot of sauce, a lot, a lot of meatballs, a lot of pizza, you know, a lot of the Italian stuff, and uh, larger than life, my parents were, so. Hubby and I binge so much is becoming a problem. Rexanne, it's never a problem to binge me, let me tell you. And I'm glad your hubby's enjoying it too. Uh, I'm so happy to hear that as well. Uh, yeah, I, I love to hear that. I love to hear when you're, you're thrifting together with friends, with family, sisters, husbands, kids. I love to hear it. I'm so glad that uh, the, the, the videos are providing so much fun and so much information. So that's great. Hey, my guests are here. Don't want to forget about them. My guests are here. Let's see what they've got. So I've got a very, very dark background and a very, very gold bracelet. And the tiara came off. You guys are funny. You put it on, you take it off, you do this, you do that. Oh, goodness. Let's see. And then we've got this, what might be a pendant with some sort of black, I don't know if it's a, I can't really tell if it's a cameo inside or basalt. Is that a cameo? Is that carved? Is that carved in, in, in gold? And I can't hear her. No, her, her audio is not on, I guess. Um, but you try to get your audio on, then we'll come back to you. And then we've got a nice big Renaissance arch room divider with a lot of gold. It looks like it's more gilded. It doesn't look like it's stained glass, but it does have that sort of Tiffany feel. My goodness, the guy in the baseball cap does not look like he wants to be here. <laughs> What's your name? And why don't you look like you want to be here? Is your wife making you do this or somebody else? I always want to be here. What's your name, darling? Mike. Hello, Mike. Who are you looking at over there? <laughs> Me. The okay. Well, it's nice to see you. What is this certificate you got there, Mike? It's uh, 1862 uh, Civil War uh, Tennessee uh, bond, $1,000 bond. $1,000 bond for the state of Tennessee, the Confederate States of America from 1863. I like that a lot in terms of, in terms of value condition is poor. Uh oh, uh, 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 right? So you have to have better condition. Speaking of good condition, let's take a look at this gold bracelet. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Maricha. Hi, it's nice to see you. Where are you calling from? Um, right now I'm in Pennsylvania. Okay. I'm in Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, can you tell me about this bracelet? Is it marked? Um, it is. It is marked. Uh -huh. It's marked. Oh, okay. Something. Okay. So how did you acquire it? Um, my boyfriend's brother, he passed away and we got a bag full of stuff in there. Well, that was nice. So <laughs> do you wear it or do you plan to wear it or are you trying to resell it? No, we'll probably resell it. But we I've just been interested in it because of the chain connection. Yeah. Hold it over and stuff. Yeah, it's a, it's nice. It's not handmade. It's actually machine made. It's mass produced. Okay. It has a nice gold. It has a nice gold plating. Pretty high quality for gold plating. And I would say value on how. So it was a gift. It was kind of like an inheritance. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I would say value on it about two hundred dollars. Let me ask you this question: It's an appetizer, crab cake, or shrimp cocktail? And being that I'm from uh, Maryland. Oh, be a crab. <laughs> well, somebody has to pick a crab cake. Although the only thing about crabs, I have to say, it's very, it's a lot of work to get in there and dig all that out. Yeah, I only usually have one and I wash it off, which is not what. Oh, do. I see. <laughs> I have a friend. I have a friend who was Miss New Jersey, and she taught me about crab, about basically digging in there, getting the crabs. In New England, we're better with lobsters. I have to say. Right. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks. 
Thank you. <laughs> That's a nice piece. I want you to remember a couple of things. When you see that a piece is in fact created, a, a bracelet like that created in pieces, in parts, it's usually lower value than those that are handmade, cast one particular thing. When you, when you have to put the parts together, all, it, it can be, of course, labor intensive, which makes it expensive to buy, but the resale market, not always so great. Ah, you know how it is. But we've got some cool guests. We've got some cool objects and all of you are cool too. Uh, I like to see what you think of these objects. And I like to see, of course, uh, your answer to the question of the day. So my guests are here from all over. Let's see what else they've got. Let's see what else they've got. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, okay. the birds. We've got some birds. And we've got this freestanding screen. And we've got a crazy quilt. Crazy quilts are a lot of fun. I have to say, crazy quilts are really quite fine. Let's talk about that crazy quilt. <laughs> oh. Looks like Lori's back from Alabama, too. Hi, what's Hello. your name? Hi. My name's Debbie. I'm from 90 Degrees San Diego. Oh, do not complain, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. I'm 90, but I have to say that San Diego is a beautiful place. Just a beautiful place. Um, I heard you talk about Coronado the other day. Yes, Coronado. And I have a friend who actually a longtime college friend who was in uh, uh, San Diego for a long time. And uh, Point Loma, I always remember. Point Loma is quite beautiful. Point Loma, it's sure. It's all gorgeous. Anyway, <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about this. Actually, the a very uh, this was made by my here. great great grandmother. Can you back up? So in probably about 1930. That's, yeah, okay. Turkey work. A couple of things you're looking for. Her piece is pretty significant in terms of a couple of different things. Show us the actual object. Can you do that? I know you've got a wire and a this and a that, and you're going way too close. Back up. I know. Back up, please. Back up, please. There it is. That's what I need to see. Thank you for getting up. I appreciate it. Sure. A couple of things I want you all to see. First of all, it's sort of a rickrack pattern. It is very different uh, shapes. They aren't all typical. They all are all pieced together, like all the same size squares, like a traditional quilt. Crazy quilts usually were popular in the latter part of the 19th century. Turkey yes. work, which is basically the embroidery, and also it looks like the feet actually of a turkey, the embroidery that will create these edges between each particular piece. Pieces oftentimes are made of velvet or velveteen. Sometimes they're yeah. cotton, sometimes they're satin with embroidery on top. So they go back and they actually embroider individual pieces as well. Um, yeah. So it's really quite fine. How big is yours? It is two yards by a yard and 10 inches. <laughs> so, a yard is 36 plus 10 is 46. And then you said two yards is 36 times two. So that's what, 73, 72, something like that. So 72 by 42, something like that. So it's going to fit on like a queen size bed. Probably, oh, we yeah. Have, we might have missed her. Okay. Value on this particular piece. Anywhere in the neighborhood between $600 and $700. About five years ago, maybe seven years ago, they were like four grand. But that market has really changed significantly. Yeah. Remember, quilts are intended to be on beds. If you have to store it and you do store it, cedar chests are such. I want to make sure if you're putting it in a cedar chest that you put it in a acid-free storage box. I suggest some, and yes, I get compensation when you buy a suggested okay. product from us. That's one of those ideas. Or um, a white pillowcase or a cotton, uh, cotton sheet. But you have okay. to make sure that you don't have it just in a drawer because it will off-gas. That's a nice piece. So it was from your family? It is. It was my great-great-grandmother's. Uh, how wonderful that you have yeah. it. Take care of it. Right. And the best thing on a bed. Okay. <laughs> on okay. a bed. Yeah, yeah. Not on a wall. Don't hang it on a wall because that to undo oh. stress on the fibers. Okay. And before you go from Southern California, <laughs> shrimp cocktail or crab cake, honey? Oh, shrimp cocktail all the way. Fantastic. Nice to meet you. That's a beautiful <laughs> piece. Beautiful piece, nice piece. The quilts, of course, are doing very, very well still, whether it's an applique quilt or a crazy quilt like that. They call it a crazy quilt because of all the different shapes and because it's not similar to the pieces. That's basically what you're looking at. So really nice, really nice pieces. Thanks so much for the super chats and super stickers. And of course, all of you can book 
any video calls that you like, you just go to my website, you pick the date and time that you like in my schedule, and we'll chat. A lot of you like to do it this way, and a lot of you like to have a personal conversation with me. I had a conversation today with a um, uh, with a family who was going through a huge collection, you know, of all different pieces. Mom was a big collector, very, very knowledgeable about her collections and her kids are now left there with a big job. They're a little overwhelmed, but they can do it. I'm, I gave them a plan and they're going to be able to, of course, understand what the pieces are worth. You know, they're nobody sweeter. And of course, it's very hard to settle estates when they're big like that, but I can help anyway. I have a butterfly quilt without any backing I had got in an auction box. Is it valuable without the backing or the stuffing? Okay. The backing or the batting, the batting is what's inside or the stuffing as you call it. Uh, they're called toppers and toppers, which might have all of the quilting done, but there's no batting. It's not technically quilted. It's just pieced and stitched can have value on its own. So don't poo poo them just because you didn't get a completed quilt. Doesn't mean that what you have is not valuable. I can help. I bought a very large statement Murano bowl. Excellent. I love, I love glass. <laughs> I believe it's a fake because the label is red with gold intact. I've only seen that particular label on vintage pieces. How can I tell if I have the real thing, right? Well, basically I can tell you if you have the real thing, a couple of things about Murano. Yes, there are fakes. Yes, there are fake labels, right? So you have to make sure that what you're looking at is accurate. You also have to make sure this, you are trying to search for the answer on websites of people who are sources that you don't know if they know the right answer to. So you have to be careful of where you're getting your information. Make sure that you're getting an expert's information because you could be searching and you think, oh, this website looks good. Seems like they know what they're talking about or the groups. I have nothing against the Facebook groups. And I'll just call them the Facebook groups. It's any group. Many of them are knowledgeable. Many of them have a lot of information. However, their agenda may be to give you some information that may work to their benefit, not to yours. Make sure that you are utilizing sources who are good and reliable because a lot of times you'll find an answer or what you think is an answer and it's not an answer at all. So be careful, be careful. Sure, I'll take a look at it. You can send a photo into the websites. No problems, no problem. Guests are here, guests are here. <laughs> Let's see what they've got. Okay, so we've got a necklace set. It might be ivory. Okay, we've got a piece that looks like it's open. And then we've got a piece that's multi. I want to look at this necklace. I, well, and then there are the ducks. Ducks. Yeah, so color lithograph print there. Then we've got the standing screen. The screens are coming back. They're making a comeback. They're not like the armoires that really, that market really went down. The, the, the screens are doing pretty well. I like a screen that has at least three panes. Remember we were talking about the design element of odd numbers, right? Hi, what's your name? How'd you acquire the screen? Hi, I'm Joel from Kansas City. And I hey, got Joel, the screen nice from Facebook Marketplace for $60. $60, is it broken or damaged? No, it's perfect condition, and it has like bamboo on the back side of it. Okay, but it's it's is the third. If you look at the design and you look at the flowers, notice the flowers at the very right. They're sort of small, kind of like buds. Then you move over and you see sort of more flowers. It takes up more of the actual room divider screen. There's a third panel that's not there, right? No then, way, really. Yeah, and there's a third panel that's not there. If you can, if you're visually can in your mind follow those flowers, yeah. almost the whole piece on the upper left hand side, like create in your mind a third oh. left hand side panel. Right, it would go all the way over. Do you see yeah. hinges on that side that you just touched? I don't see hinges. There's a little bit of scratches, but I don't think it's missing hinges. Okay, so, um, but typically what you'll see is you'll see three or you'll see six. So I think you're missing one, but for $60 okay. on Facebook Marketplace, I think you did great. I think you did great. Thanks for sharing it with us. Thank you. Hey, I want to talk about this um, bracelet, uh, earring, and of course, um, and then necklace set briefly. And I want to see this black set. It looked like it was a, a, a locket that was kind of open, but not open. Um, this looks like it is actually bone, not ivory. And that's okay. going to be an easier thing for you to sell because Ivory has its issues with respect to resale. How'd you acquire it? And what's your name? Uh, my name is Jeannie and I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I love and Fort I've, Wayne, Jeannie. I love yes, Fort I Wayne. Yes, I came to one of your home shows. Or you were if at you the have, home show. If, if you have a chance to join them at the um, Fort Wayne Home and Garden Show, go. 
A couple yes. of things I want to say to you for what to look for for the recipe. Notice how the, the it's basically a graduated necklace. And then at the, bottom, at the top of it where the clasp is, hold it down a little bit for me, Jeannie. There you go. At where that clasp is, it looks like a long lozenge, almost oblong, and then that screws mm -hmm. apart. That's a circa 1900 to 1925 time period class for carved bone. And then it's little beads and they all look like little flowers go all the way down. Right. Then you've got the bracelet. The bracelet opens up and it's a stretch, correct? Yes. And then the, the matching earrings. And remember, right. uh, bone, of course, will carve a little bit more detail than ivory typically. We reserve ivory typically for uh, pieces like this, but early 20th century piece. How did you acquire it? Actually, uh, my brother was given it in lieu of some automobile work. He oh, worked on a motor. okay. How yeah. much automobile work? I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> I'm not sure. He didn't value specify. on the set. Value on the set about three hundred dollars for the set. Okay, very so good. Thank you so much. Was, hopefully that was enough. Based on actual sales records, where similar pieces have sold, and I don't care where you are in the country. Home shows are fun. <laughs> yes, they are. And I, I did go there one time you were there. So my my question of the day, well, I do public events and have for many, 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 many years. And I mm -hmm. love to do them. It's a lot of fun to meet all of you guys in person. My question of the day, shrimp cocktail, crab cake, appetizer, which one? Uh, neither one. I don't like seafood. <laughs> what do you like? Oh, I, I love like jalapeno poppers. Uh... Oh, so you like your jalapeno poppers. I have a brother-in-law who could eat fire, I'm telling you. He could eat jalapeno poppers or any of those peppers. So good to see you. Thanks so much for being with me. I mean, I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. I'm like just watching him do that. I can't even do it. God. <laughs> anyway, but uh, he's a good guy. Having said that, my guests are here. And let's see what they've got. I have a few Yadro pieces. Are they still valuable? Oh, yes, much better. They are valuable. Your Yadros are valuable. Actually. Uh, just on a recent video, a recent uh, Ask Dr. Lori Live, I appraised some Yadros, and they're doing very well. And the person who had them actually sold them. So, yes, I have a video called with you next weekend. Our Kremitz necklace. Oh, sure, Kremitz is valuable. And I have a li video of lot listing a lot of the valuable costume jewelry names, the makers. So you got to look at that. And don't forget, here's what you're all forgetting, the website. My website is chock full of information. Go to drlaurieb.com. Go to the research tab, research, or put in what you're looking for. We have, of course, the magnifying glass search. You can go there too. But go to the research tab. It's right there next to the free tab, right at the top for the icons with the I for information and read those articles and look on those pages because I tell you so much about so many different things right there on the website. So uh, if you want to learn more about that, but yes, Kremitz necklaces will have some value. And thank you very much for the super chats and the super stickers. I'm excited to see all of you. And it was fun to see all of you tonight. I'm Dr. Lori. I'll see you next time.